Hey ladies, it's Jamie with Your Guide to Style and welcome to episode 11 of What to Wear Q&A. And if you are new and this is the first time you've watched one of these videos, this is a series where you guys send in questions to me by putting Q and A colon in front of the questions and then I answer them on these videos. So it's like having a conversation on camera uh, the best that we can. So, and it also creates a lot of conversation in the comments, so be sure to look through the comments. Because anytime I answer a question, I also ask you guys to give your input on that question. So what I do is I go through and I read the questions, and then I give my thoughts, and you guys can give your thoughts as well. So I've got a lot of questions that were sent in the past couple weeks and I'm way behind on this video. So you have episode 11 now, which will include, I think six of those questions. And then I'll do episode 12 soon after it that will include the other six. So if you don't see your question in this one, it will probably be in the next one. And if I completely missed your question altogether because I did not see it or you didn't type it in correctly, then please leave the question for me again and let me know because I try to answer all of these the best I can. So before I get started, I just wanna say that I put out a video on a review on white jeans and then the next video after that I did a styling video on outfit ideas with white jeans. So I hope you guys check those out. A lot of the conversation the past Q&A videos were about white jeans and you guys requested a review and you requested some styling ideas. So please go and watch those. It seems like my trends videos do better than any of them. So if you guys could give my style videos like that and my review videos like that some attention, they would probably do a lot better. So if you were in on that conversation, please go and check those out and let me know what you think. So I wanted to give you guys some quick feedback on something that I recently did. And the reason why I wanna give you feedback is because we have talked about it a lot on my channel and that's straight leg jeans and petites. And I am 5'4", and I don't normally wear petites. I usually will hem some jeans if I have to because a lot of manufacturers just don't do petites. But Madewell does petites, so does J. Crew and Loft and I've actually tried loft petites and they don't work as well for me. But the great thing about the Madewell petites is the inseam is shorter and the rise is shorter, which is what I need because their rise is like way too high, especially in their perfect vintage jean. Once it gets to an 11 and a 12, I just, I don't do very well with them. And the white jeans that I got did not have a petite available, so I just got the regular. And so I ordered a pair of blue denim in a petite because I wanted to compare it to the other ones that I have that are not petite. And I am blown away because they fit perfectly. The rise is about an inch lower and the inseam is a few inches shorter to where I do not have to roll them at all. And that makes me so happy. So if you have never tried the petites in their jeans, and I bet J. Crew would be the same, they would work really well. And if there's any petites that you have tried anywhere else in jeans, please let me know. Because normally petites don't work for me. Being 5'4", I'm right at the edge of whether I can wear them or not. And most of the time I can't. But these were so dang perfect, I had to share it with you. So if you've never tried them, look for a sale, look for something, because I know they're a little bit expensive. And I did get these at 20% off. And for 112 bucks, I think they are definitely worth it. And I have wanted a jean like this for so long, and I'm so excited that I found it. So just wanted to let you know that they do have that available, and it works really well if you are shorter and normally can't do petites like me. So these questions today, just so you know, are going to be related to white jeans again and shorts. We're gonna talk about blazer shapes, joggers, and then, let me see, ankle pants and contrast dressing. So those are the topics of the questions today. And question number one is from Renee. And she said, I would love a tutorial on blazer shapes. The smallest detail seems to make a difference. Double breasted, split in the front, square corner edges or rounded corner. And then there's length. Ugh, I don't own any blazers because I am pear shaped and I am worried I'll look like a box. And the first thing I wanna say is, Renee, just because you're pear shaped doesn't mean you can't wear a blazer. My sister-in-law, I have actually gotten her into blazers if 
if y'all have not heard the story about my sister-in-law, she is completely blind. And so for the past 17 years that I've been married to her brother, I have helped her shop for clothes and we have bought her blazers. And the thing that we look for for pear shapes like her is a shorter blazer. So you don't want it to cover your hips because it will accentuate your hips. So get something that is a little bit shorter and whether it has rounded corners or squared edges, things like that. I don't, th I think that's just a personal preference. I don't think that has anything to do with your shape. So get what you like. So they will have different collars. They'll have notched collars and they'll just have different shaped lapels and some will be oversized and some will just be normal. And then the double breasted and the the single breasted really do matter in that because the double breasted usually have a lot more material to them, but they usually button up really pretty and a lot of them will have a little bit more shape unless it's the boyfriend oversized double breasted blazer, which is probably not something you would wanna do. But I think if you could find a tailored classic blazer that stopped at your hip, like right above your hip, then that would be perfect on you. And I think you could wear it with jeans, you could wear it with pants, skirts, you could wear it over dresses. And I just think if it's tailored, which means it's got shape to it. So if you find one that's called oversized, it's probably not gonna have any shape, but a lot of classic blazers will have shape to them. So they will be sewn to where the waist cinches in just a little bit, and that will be great for you. You could wear it open or you could wear it closed. And I, we do both of those for my sister-in-law and they look really good on her. And I don't think because you're pear shaped that you should totally think that's gonna make you look boxy. I actually think it's a really good option for you. Just make sure you don't cover the hip area and you find something that's a little bit more tailored. And if any of you have any feedback on that and wanna give Renee some suggestions, then that would be a great idea. But I would stay away from the oversized, the longer versions and look for something more tailored and more cinched in and shorter for you. So the next question is from Raylan, and she wants to know what white jeans and shorts that fit well and aren't see-through, no stretch in the jeans. And so it is really hard these days to find jeans that do not have stretch. And I don't think people should eliminate that option. Now, you probably don't want 10% spandex, but I do think one or 2% is okay in a pair of jeans and it doesn't override the feel of the jeans. So a lot of times it's the polyester and the other things that they put in the jeans that really make a difference in how it feels and how soft it is and all of that. So look for ones, you can look for 100% cotton, but they're not that available. So look for one and 2% spandex and that would probably work close to the same. But I did a video on white jeans. I'll link it and I talked about it at the beginning. Check it out. The review on all the white jeans that I did, none of them were see-through. They were all really great as long as you wear nude undergarments. So the nude undergarments that you wear can't be too dark and they can't be too light. They need to be very close or maybe one shade darker than your skin. And this takes a little bit of trying on to see what's going to show through your clothing. But the closer you match your skin, the less you're going to see it. And so just make sure you get the right undergarments and get the right fit of the jeans. They don't have to be big and they don't have to be super tight try to find one that fits you. Because if a lot of people go a size up in white jeans and I don't always agree with that unless they say you should and unless that size that you normally wear is just way too tight. So don't get them oversized and not fitted properly just because you don't want them to be see-through and because they're white. Because they will stretch a little bit and as you wear them, they will look a little bit better on your body as they conform to your body. But I did do the review on the jeans. I will probably in the summertime do something with shorts and I will try to include white shorts because I have not looked and I have not tested any of the white shorts to tell you whether or not they are see-through or not. So if you have, if you have a pair of white denim shorts or even white shorts that are tailored, 
and you love them and they're not see-through, please let us know in the comments below. So the next question is from Gail and she says, I have another question about wearing white jeans. If I will be wearing tan booties or nude flats with straps, should my belt match my shoe color? I believe for me that this question applies any time that I will be wearing a belt with my jeans or slacks. Thank you. And Gail, I do not think that your belt always has to match. I think if you have a matching belt and that's what you want to do, I think that gives you a more cohesive look. But if you have on a pair of shoes that don't, you don't have a belt that matches, you could find something that contrasts well with it that goes with the outfit. And if you're just wearing nude shoes and you have a nude and black top on and want to put on a black belt, I think that would work. So I think as long as it coordinates and it looks good, then I think it doesn't have to match perfectly. There's a lot of belts out there that are metals too. And I mean, there are a lot of different options that you could do. And as long as it goes with your outfit, I think a nude shoe is a very, very good neutral that really goes with a lot of different things so even if you wanted to wear a white belt because you had a white and nude top on you could do that as a little bit of a contrast so i don't think that you always have to match um, but i do think that it should coordinate and look good with the outfit and if you feel better with them matching then i would do that but don't feel like it is absolutely necessary and again, if anybody else has any thoughts on that, please put them in the comments below. So the next question comes from Victoria and she says, please style ankle pants for spring and summer. It would be helpful if some of your links included plus sizes. And first I wanna say I will style some ankle pants probably in the summer. I've got a lot of spring content that I have planned and I have not done ankle pants. So I will do some ankle pants in the summer or maybe transitioning between those two seasons so if any of you want ankle pants please put it in the comments below as well and maybe tell me what type of ankle pants so do you want like a dress pant or a casual pant or maybe all of the above and then about the plus sizes so a lot of the things that i link would have availability for plus sizes if the retailer does plus sizes but it's very hard for me to go through and find all of those but i do try to do some retailers that have kind of all-inclusive sizing so a lot of times now you won't see it as a plus size there might be a little tab that will take you to plus sizes or their size range actually goes up to a plus size and so just make sure you look at that when you're hitting those links. And if I find something that is similar to what I'm talking about in a plus size, I will definitely link it for you. So the next question is also from Victoria and she says, please style some joggers in a manner to wear out and about, not just at home or the gym. And I have thought about doing a video like this, but I'm not sure how many people wear joggers. If it has become something popular that people wear, other than leggings, if people really struggle with joggers. And we just recently got my sister-in-law some joggers and I have had to style outfits for her and kind of tell her how to style them. And I know it can be a little bit difficult to style them, to wear them out and about. So if you guys want a video like that, please tell me in the comments below. I can't do a styling video on here. This is short and sweet for you guys to give simple questions and suggestions, but that is a good one. And these videos take a lot of time. So I wanna make sure the content I provide you guys is broad and is something that a lot of people wanna watch. So if you want a styling video on joggers for going out and about, I'll be glad to do it. Just let me know in the comments below. So the last question on this video is from Derry, and she says, I would like more tips on contrast dressing. It's fun to wear a t-shirt with a pencil skirt or a structured blazer with loose fitting jeans. And I have never thought about doing a video like this, and I think it would be an awesome video, and I think it would be very informative for you guys. So if you guys want to know more about contrast dressing, because I love contrast dressing, it's 
it's taking your pieces and thinking outside of the box with them and putting them with things that you would not normally do. So I would love to do that. If you guys want that, please put it in the comments below. And I think this one would actually be something that people would really love. So I'll probably do it anyway. But if you want something like this, please let me know in the comments below as well. I hope you will give your feedback on some of these questions. If you had thoughts or an answer to some of them, please put it in the comments below. And also let me know what it is that you guys want to see. Somebody requested blazer shapes and then shorts and white shorts and then contrast dressing and also styling joggers. So if any of those are interesting to you, please let me know in the comments below. I think I have proven that the suggestions you guys give me, I really take to heart and I normally turn them into a video. The white jeans videos were that. I've got a wide leg jean video coming. Straight legs were also a request and I did that. So I hope you guys really take this seriously and send me in your thoughts and your questions and your suggestions because I want to produce things that you guys want to see and this is why I have this conversation on this video. I think this video has produced more new content for me than any video on my channel although it's probably not the highest producing video that I make but it really puts me in tune with you guys so I hope that you will give your feedback as you watch these. And thank you so much for those of you that have participated and given me questions because it has been so helpful. And I know this video doesn't get really in depth on a lot of things because that's not what this video is for. It's for really simple things and then for your suggestions on creating new content and for you guys to vote on some of these things and for us to have a conversation. This is the best way I know how to do it on YouTube so far. And so that's why this video is there. And so if you don't see images in this video and you don't see a lot of suggestions and hoopla that y'all are used to, that is why, because that is not what this video is for. And I will have episode 12 coming. If you have any other questions, put Q&A colon in front of them in the comments below and I'll answer them in episode 13. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.